So today I'm here with Tatiana Figueredo. You probably know her from a lot of places, uh, mostly of building great communities and also giving us great insights about the community industry. I'm Pedro Hernandez at Burb, and today we're gonna just quickly chat with Tatiana about how she's using Burb, what are the main features, and how she's like scaling up community management tasks and also fostering engagement in her community. So yeah, Tatiana, tell us a little bit about yourself and your community. Thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm Tatiana, I'm a community business strategist and the name of my community is BACB. It's a both a cohort-based course and an ongoing community for people who are launching or relaunching or uh, changing their, their business model to be towards uh, community. Um, so cohort-based courses, memberships, um, anything where community is the center of the business, I, um, along with the team, help people to um, think about marketing through the lens of community, think about sales, think about business model, um, and also tools like, like Burb. Um, and figure out how we can best use what's out there to um, make really uh, engaging communities. Thanks for that. And if you're seeing this and you still don't know Build a Community Business, I will leave the link here below. Do check it. I'm sure it can help you in many ways. But yeah, Tatiana, take us back to the first day that you choose Burb as a possible solution for the issues that you're having. What were then and why did you think that Burb could have helped you solve that? Yeah, I think uh, a problem that I have had and um, a problem that a lot of people who I talk to have when they're building community is that they're at this point, you still need a ton of different tools in order to make an experience seamless for your member. Um, so in order to make the, the experience seamless for your member, there are like a bunch of things that you have to do in the background to make sure things are automated, to make sure that they're getting the right emails at the right time and the right messages in in uh, in the community platform. Um, so I I knew the team from Burb, I think, before they even fully launched publicly. And so I first really connected with, um, I think, the the approach that they were taking and the, the point of view that they had from the very beginning in this very community first, let's really build this um, based on what people are actually asking for and based on what people actually need. Um, but that that's how that was the, the the problem that I was thinking about. There are all these different tools. How do I connect them in like the most seamless way for for me as well as for the people who are going through and joining the community? Also, we we just want to thank Tatiana again because she was one of our first members in using our users, and she helped us to build the product too as it is right now. And which are the features that I have in like either save time or grow engagement right now? Um, I really like the being able to send messages to to members. Um, I think especially new members, um, I'd say in their first three months of joining the community. Um, it's it's really nice to be able to establish a one on one relationship with the member even if um, where I'm not necessarily having one-on-one -on -one calls with every single member, um, which is something that I used to do when it was a smaller community. It's been really nice to uh, be able to reach out to multiple members who are at a certain point in, in their journey and have them be able to respond to me and know that there is like a connection there even um, even if we're not uh, like in a one on one coaching relationship, um, a lot of the reason why I launched the course is because I wanted this content to be available for 
um, people who couldn't necessarily weren't at a place where they would bring on like a one on one consultant to bake to build alongside them. So the feature like the being able to send a bunch of people a message at one time and have them respond to you personally and start a conversation that way um, really is a way to kind of scale that uh, relationship building within a community. Um, so that's my favorite. That's one that I that I've used the most probably. You mentioned something pretty much interesting that is this one-on-one -on -one relationship and also following up with members. Do you have an example that you can give like in kind of messaging or any, I know if you have a monthly or weekly message that you send to your members. That's okay if yeah. you don't have a sorry to put on the spot. No, it's okay. Um, I don't have I, I don't have any that are triggered automatically because I feel like a lot of it is based on vibes or what's happening in the community. Um, but I do tend to send them when there's a, a message that I need to get to like out out to a certain group. So we have people in uh, verb groups based on the cohort that they're in. Um, so if it's in the middle of the cohort, um and it's like halfway through the cohort is usually when people start dropping off so that's a good time to send a message and say like hey how are things going here's like the latest post about what's going on this week um you know respond to this if you have any questions um so that's like a more that's one that we always try to schedule in and and know that around that time there's going to come a time where people start dropping off. Um, but there's also been other ones that are triggered by like um, like one of the tools we're using has a bug and it wasn't sending notifications in a way that would have sent notifications. We can always DM all everyone so that, that we know that they get the notifications that way and are able to engage that way. So it's a really helpful tool to have, um, to be able to like use in all these different ways. Actually, yeah, you made a great point. Like managing cohorts using tag and book messaging then is a great use of the feature. So it makes it all easier for to manage cohorts, workshops, and challenges. You just tag a bunch of people off the cohort and just work to schedule messages to them. But as I mentioned, this is a, a pretty quick chat. And so lastly, what are some tips that you can share for folks who want to also do the thing that you're doing? I just want to try it out for. Yeah, I would say whatever you're going to try on Verb, try it by hand first. So if you're going to DM a bunch of people, just see how that feels to do it on your own first. Um, whatever actions that you want to automate, figure out how to do them by hand first before you automate. That's just my general advice on any of these kinds of things. Um, and yeah, I think Burb does a really good job at keeping that human touch, even though a lot of it is automated and a lot of it can be triggered by different actions or non-actions that your members are taking. Um, so I think it's it's important to always have this like, presence in the community and have a have a pulse on the vibe of what's actually going on and not just use uh tools like verb as like a way to outsource you being a, a community leader who like mm -hmm. understands what's happening in the room i think verb does a really good job at promoting this kind of presence and having it be mm -hmm. just something that is helping you and not taking your place um but i think that's an important thing to keep in mind yeah, I love that because it is absolutely related to our mission. That is keeping the human connection, but also that keep that pulse alive so you can scale your community well. So yeah. thanks again Definitely. for today, Tatiana. This was great here for you. And I hope to chat you some next time. Thank you.